2 of Think Again by Adam Grant. Welcome to the summary of chapter 2 of Think Again by Adam Grant. In this chapter, Adam writes about confidence and competence. In theory, we cannot distinguish between confidence and competence. We think if we are confident in a particular field, we are also competent in that field. But in practice, confidence and competence, they go in opposite direction. You may have come across people who talk a lot about a particular field, but when it comes to practice, they know very less as compared to their confidence. Similarly, you may have also come across people who are very modest to take credit for their work. They often believe they don't deserve the success. They are genuinely unaware of just how intelligent, creative and charming they are. No matter how hard you try, you cannot get them to rethink their views. These two groups of people are at two extreme ends of the confidence and competence bar. Adam suggests that we should find the balance between confidence and competence, which he names as the sweet spot of confidence. Sweet spot of confidence is having confidence and the humility or humbleness about our knowledge at the same time. It is when we are confident about our knowledge, but meanwhile, we are also doubtful that we may be wrong. Because if we are certain that we know something, we remove all the reasons to look for gaps and flaws in our knowledge, let alone to fill or correct them. We tend to overlook our weaknesses when we want to paint a glowing picture of ourselves to others. Therefore, we must accept the reality that no one is perfect and we are all inexperienced in many things. If we see the history, the most successful people score high in both the confidence and the humility. Although they have faith in their strengths, but they are also aware of their weaknesses. As Adam closes the chapter with, Great thinkers maintain doubts because they know we are all partially blind, and they are committed to improving their sight. They don't boast about how much they know, they marvel at how little they understand. They are aware that each answer raises new questions, and the quest for knowledge is never finished. A mark of lifelong learners recognizing that they can learn something from everyone they meet. Arrogance leaves us blind to our weaknesses. Humility is a reflective lens. It helps us see them clear. Confident humility is a corrective lens. It enables us to overcome those weaknesses. With that said, here is action of the day. Stop being arrogant by trying to admit when you're wrong. Do not think of being right all the time. And ask for help when you need it. This will automatically bring humility in you, which will help you with your rethinking mindset. With that said, that marks the end of the video. Check the summary of the next chapter here and see you in the next video. Bye.